Hi and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi, my name's Ben. Today I get the pleasure of walking around this prestigious ML250, the Mercedes-Benz. I just want to run through a few little things that I can see on this vehicle and show you some of the features that this car has got. If we just walk around the front here, we can see the big badging and aggressive lines that this car does come with. You've got your daytime running lights down in the, down in the, um, the front bar here, plus you've got your massive big grill that opens the car up, gets plenty of air flow coming through the front of this vehicle. Looking at the bonnet, as we can see here, going over the vehicle to see if there is any marks or scratches or dints that I can see on the car, but very, very tidy, has been very, very well looked after, one owner vehicle. So we're just going to go down over here to the, the driver's side of the vehicle. The first few things that I always look at, especially when you're looking at a prestigious car, you want to make sure that the car presents very, very well. You can look here, you can see the wheels, the tyres are brand new. So I'm just putting my finger in there, I can't even feel the depth gauge. So the tyres are brand new on the front. There is a couple of little scuffs on the wheels. Um, they are, looks like it has, has had a little bit of damage on the wheels, but not too much. Going down, you've got your indicators in the mirror, plus you've got your colour-coded mirrors as well really really large mirror as well for the the people that want to put on a, a caravan or do a little bit of towing with this car you've got those large mirrors to be able to see around the caravan that you've got behind you if we just see here we have got a little button proximity key so the proximity key to get in and out of the car Going down into the passenger side rear door, there is no marks, no scratches on the car anywhere. Even just having a look in here, just the little spots where you would normally find those little scratches, stone chips, people getting into the car, hitting with keys, there is no marks there as well. Down onto the back, the back wheel, a couple, again, a couple more scratches, just a little tiny bit of um bit of gutter rash there but we can see the get there again the wheels are very very tight are, are brand new as well going around to the to the back as we can see here we do have your color-coded proximity sensors so parking in bigger spots it is a little bit bigger car so yes parking would actually come into those would come into um to help you get in and out of those tight spots. Little tiny bit of a mark here as well. When you're buying, like I said before, when you're buying a car like this, we wanna make sure that we point out everything that we physically see on the car when we do this walk around presentation. Now with your tailgate. Now I've got the keys here in my pocket. I'm just going to press the, the tailgate button, which automatically opens that tailgate. Plus up here, we do have the ability to be able to, to close that as well. Going down the passenger side of the vehicle. So if we just have a look at this side, we can see that the car is very, very straight. Cut again, just checking the wheels. There is another little bit of a scuff on those wheels as well. but. If we have a look here, the tyres, as the rest of the vehicle presents, they are brand new. Just going down to the driver's side, to the passenger, the passenger side front. Again, there's a couple more scuff marks on there, but the wheels are very, very new as well. The front, they do have your proximity sensors on the front as well. So that will give you the ability to be able to get in and out of those tight, tight areas. Okay, now to under the bonnet, to the powertrain of this Mercedes-Benz. So with the ML250 Bluetech, it does have a four-cylinder 2.1 litre turbo diesel, putting out a whopping 150 kilowatts and 500 newton metres of torque. It is that, like I said before, the turbo diesel. So when you have a look at that front grille, and then you have a look where your intercooler is. That open airflow allows that car, the car to keep cool. 
very, very tidy car. Um, the one thing Mercedes have done and done very well is the power plant, so the actual motor. They, they are the, the forerunners of what power they can get under this bonnet. Okay, so now into inside the vehicle. Now this is probably one of the parts where Mercedes-Benz have got it right. So they really, really finish these things off very nice with the full leather wrapped steering wheel. Now, holding that steering wheel just feels very, very sporty, but gives you a really, really nice firm grip on, on the vehicle that you're, current, that you're driving. If we look over here on the right-hand side, where you would normally find your indicator in any Japanese models, this is actually your, um, your gear stick. So this is where you change through your gears. Now, if we see up here on the dash, you'll see that um, there's, you've got your, your control. Now, if I just pull that down once, it'll go into what we call a, into neutral mode. When we double click that, so we bring it down, that will then put it into, into drive. We go back, we press it, double press it upwards, and we go into reverse. If we look over here in the center on the, the, the touch screen, we have got your um, reverse camera as well. Going across, continuing over this side of the, of the steering wheel, we've got your headlight adjustment. So you've got their auto headlights, plus then you've just got your normal headlight control. And going back the other way is you've got the parkers. To the right hand side on the door, we've got your seating adjustment. You've got your doors so you can auto lock, you can lock the doors and unlock the doors from here. You have got your controls to adjust your, your mirrors as well. And then you've got your four controls for your for your power windows. Now, on the other side of the the car, on the passenger side, the passenger has got exactly the same controls that they can. So both sides are electronic seating for the front. So you have got that that ability to to the passenger has got that ability as well. Over here on the right hand side, just below that, you have got a, another button to unlock your boot. On your steering wheel, we have got your your track and you have got um, your Bluetooth controls here on the on the steering wheel, plus then you've got your controls to go through your 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 range and your taco on what, what you're currently doing at any one point. The one big thing with this vehicle is they're 6.4 litres per 100 kilometres. So that range is really, really going to get you a long way in, in this vehicle. If we just, we go down here onto our um, info, infotainment system, we can see here you have got your navigation so you've got navigation in, in the vehicle, you have got your Bluetooth. Once your Bluetooth is set up, you do have the ability to, act, to be able to, to type in the number that you are looking for as well. So to be able to do things on the fly while you're driving and not take the concentration off the road, this is where Mercedes-Benz have really, really excelled and, and strive to, to make the everyday use of this vehicle. We have got down below here, we have got your dual zone climate control. So you have got dual zone climate for driver and passenger, so you can adjust that to, so both sides are, are separate. So you can have really cold on one side and really hot on the other side. Going down to your sport and comfort, so you have got the ability to be able to change the the different modes that this car can drive so you can put it into a comfort so when you're draw, doing long distances and you're wanting to to drive down the, the the freeways you have got the comfort plus then if you were to looking for that little bit more aggressive drive style 
your sport mode is there as well. We have got a height ride adjustment as well. So you can actually set the car to certain different heights. As we're doing this, this is actually lifting the vehicle. So you can see there it's flashing. So it is actually increasing and it'll actually say over here in the center vehicle is rising. So the car can be set to different height adjustments to be able to get you um, that, that four wheel drive system. So these are a four by four. So that ability is, is, um, is very good. As we can see here in the center, we have got your adjustment. So there is a dial here. You can actually zoom in and out on your maps. We can see that you've got a clock that is comes up, but you can switch through and you can see your different fuel consumption and your clock. So you can see the fuel consumption there. Um, because we are sitting the last 10 minutes, because we're sitting here idling, it's, it's average is 25 litres per 100 k's, but we can see when you, the car is, current, is, is actually driving, it'll be between five and 10 litres per 100 k's. Going over to the, the service books, Now we can see here that the service books have been filled out. So we have got um, we have got the Mercedes Benz service books. It has been stamped. So seventy six thousand Ks was the last service that's been put in there. But every service has been done with Mercedes Benz up until the last one. Leather seating as well, so we do have your beautiful leather seats and we can just have a look here at the quality of the seats. They're very, very tidy, been very well looked after. Now just going up to up top here, we do have your, your moon roof as well. So for the drives through the city, and to try and just let a little tiny bit of air through, so we've got the moon roof at the back and we have got the sun roof at the front. All controlled from the front. And then we just bring it back and that will bring the shades back over. Okay, so that was the walk around in the ML250. For any inquiry, for any questions on this particular vehicle, please call us on 9907 0555. Thank you.